Oof, preach girl. This is one of those just straight facts. But you know, I wanna talk about why. Why do we start creating boundaries when we're healing? And why don't people like it? And I'm not talking about the super toxic, abusive people in your life that just wanna take advantage of you. I mean, even those who really love you tend to not like it. And that can cause a whole lot of problems. So first, let's talk about why you start to drop boundaries when you're healing. The simple truth is boundaries are an act of self-love. And as you start to heal, you start to love yourself more. So why wouldn't the people that love you and support you and encourage you in your healing like that you're drawing boundaries? It doesn't mean that they're necessarily the bad guy or that they don't love you. The simple truth is we don't like change, particularly in relationships. As social creatures, we create these set of norms that we exist in. People have their roles and the parts that they play, and there's these dynamics that we establish that even if they're dysfunctional or toxic or unhealthy, they're like gears that just shift and go and move, and we just really like that. And drawing boundaries is like throwing a wrench into those gears. It disrupts the status quo and the pattern and habits that have been created within that relationship, which means things become unpredictable and unknown. And we really don't like that. What we want to see in healthy relationships is a person feeling safe enough to express, hey, I'm making some changes because I'm working on me and here's what they're going to look like. And then the person that loves and supports them goes, ooh, this is going to be an adjustment for me, but I totally support you. Let's keep the conversation open about this. So many arguments and fights would be saved if we would do things like that. So if you're the person drawing the boundary, just remember, don't take it personal. It's not about you. They're just really uncomfortable. Some adjust, some don't but try to communicate as clearly as you can. And for those of you that have loved ones in your life that have started changing things up and drawing boundaries, recognize what's happening. Explore your own discomfort and why that this might be hard for you and then talk about it openly with the person. But do not ask them to change it because it's their boundary to draw and it's your job to adjust. And that doesn't have to be a rough or hard process because we're all in it together.